All right, welcome back. So I had to take care of the baby real quick. Uh, fortunately, the Mariposa has not showed up yet. So we're not yet in danger of crazy raider. Uh, I'm curious as to finding out who that actually is. Okay. Just because the, the Mariposa has chased us down now twice. So that person genuinely has an interest in getting their hands on us. which means that we have a genuine interest to not let them get their hands on us, as it were. Uh, okay, Ooh, spare pistols. All right, we'll take one of those, take a med pack. Okay. As much as I'd like to grab some, some canisters. Sorry, I thought my ship was drifting there for a second. The canisters are not as much of an urgency as making sure that I get through here, find some warp cells, and get out. Because the Mariposa has probably been through here at least once. She probably left me to go look for fuel to come after me again. So, uh, no, I don't want the gun. I want that. Okay. We can throw that one away. Don't need it. Alright, so we've got a number of small med packs. More canisters that we don't actively need. Warp cells are king right now. Warp cells, warp cells, warp cells. Let's go ahead and open up this door here. So we can see our ship. And let's take a quick pop out the door. Okay, nothing on local radar. Okay, so warp cells. Only the warp cells matter. Nothing else matters right now. Bingo. Check those. 27, 28, 28. They'll do. With the with the high efficiency warp cell that we have, or warp system that we have on the Steropas. That should last us for a little while. So three cells is good. Uh, I think that might be enough to beat feet here, but we're going to take a look. What's up? Okay. Grab some ammo. That will take... Okay, we're going back into zero G. Oh no, not zero G. Okay. All right, that's another fabrication module. Anything of use in here? Oh, another warp cell, so we'll take that. All right, that looks to be everything that we want out of this station, because uh, I know that the Mariposa is going to show up soon. So if we don't get away, she will come after us, and we will suffer the price. Let's go out this way real quick. She has not, uh, and everybody say hello to my son who has joined to watch. Uh, well, actually you can't because it's not a live stream. What am I thinking? Gosh, I need to do another live stream. Uh, but yeah, my, my oldest son is watching and he's paying attention. I think he wants to get this game. Although if he does, he's going to have to work a bit harder than he has been. All right, so... We're clear. Does not look like the Steropas has found us yet, or the uh, the Mariposa. Whoa! Hold on. 
Hold the truck. That was a piece of something that we want. Hi there. Bright Electronics, you are my friend. So you always got to check the outsides of these things when you have the time, but I haven't really had the time because the Mariposa has been chasing me all over the dang system. But those two should be enough that <coughs> I can get at least a, a good run going here. Let's get back before the Steropa, the uh, Mariposa shows up. Because they, uh, I, I know that they went in, in search of another part, basically, but whoever is flying that ship is very determined to, to catch me. I think it's because of the fact that I'm active, whereas most other people are, are hiding, maybe. Uh, that's probably what got his attention, was that when he first tried to roll up on me, uh, I immediately took action against him. And so he re recognizes me as a challenge, maybe? Don't know. Uh, I'll bet he's either streaming or... Uh, or maybe doing something else, but he is definitely not friendly. Actually, you know, I'm making a very generic term, so he or she is probably very, very much a hostile. Because it could be a girl. Oh, shoot. I forgot. I need to go out and change that part out. Or depressurize. Being risky, being a risk taker. The Mariposa is definitely a, a hostile force. <coughs> so we definitely want to make sure that we do not uh, cross her. Okay, so. There's that catalyst. Oh, damn! We've got some damage. Alright, so we'll have to deal with that damage here in a moment. Because that's probably going to jack us up pretty quick. Alright, let's get in. Oh, gosh, that, that switch right there. Always. Okay, close the outer door. Repressurize. Okay, so that should give us better air. We can pull away and go back to our station or to a neutral warp point, either way. And we can get the heck out of here. The Mariposa is really... Re oh, no, 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 no. Inner door. Thank you. Yeah, the Mariposa is definitely uh, scaring the crap out of me because she is a very hostile ship. I mean, like, normally, if you encounter somebody and they immediately evade you, uh, that's usually a pretty good sign that that player is paying attention and it's not, you know, an easy game. The fact that he turned around, came back after me, uh, meant that he was looking for a fight. He had to be. Okay, let's put away some of this ammo here. You know, I could probably be doing this when I'm not sitting right here in the open. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's get away from the station here. Nothing on scan so far, but that does not mean anything. All right, so let's jump back to my home station. <coughs> um, my home station, please. Where is my home station? Why can't I find my home station here? What the hell? Why can't I find my home station? Um, that's a little concerning. 
actually that's, that's a lot concerning because where the hell is my home station? <coughs> okay, um, this is less than okay. What the hell? Okay, that's uh... That's not good. No, that's not... I'm not selecting my ship as my home station. This is less than happy times for me. Let's set a custom orbit here. Hopefully the station will be somewhere over here. <laughs> this is really, 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 really aggravating. Because now I don't know where my home station is. So all of my resources that I left <coughs> behind are now gone. That is a big pile of shit. Did somebody come and steal it? I mean, if I die, where am I going to end up? That might be a glitch here, because home station has always been the station where your your respawn is. So, what the absolute hell? <laughs> this is most unpleasant. There's a ship named Bob. Now we moved everything out of the standard orbit. So I'm thinking I may have to strip everything off, kill myself, and respawn, get a new ship, and figure out what the absolute hell is going on. Because that is... I mean, unless they expect you to drag your station around with you, that is a, a hell of a thing. Okay. Do these not work at all? Okay, so that 
locks onto my ship. Why does it not lock onto my home station? That is a huge, huge problem. Unless somebody destroyed my station. <coughs> which would be uh, really lousy. But I mean, I, I suppose it's possible. This is really, really, really frustrating. Did somebody steal my station? And if so, I'm rapidly hosed. Let's go ahead and test that theory, because this is, this, uh, before I do that, though, um, let's go ahead and put this thing into an orbit that nobody's going to find. It's an authorized ship, so I should be able to All right, let's, uh, let's put her out to a really, really big orbit. Okay, so nobody should be able to find her on this orbit. Although I doubt I will be able to get there very... Alright, so... So, the ship is locked in. I'm going to go ahead and, just for safety's sake, I'm going to take all my gear off. Just in case, you know. Plenty of warp cells. Always good. We got basically one full cell out of everything that spawned there, which makes for a very good dash and grab kind of deal uh, that should keep us fine. That's even better. So, and then we got these two guys here, which we'll throw down over here. And an extra tier one, ca oh that's the cattle I pulled out, okay. Uh, and then more nitro. Totally worthless to me. And I can't recharge any of this stuff until I find my station. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try and re-log. Hopefully that will fix the glitch, and from there I'll be able to warp back to my station. Because if I, if it doesn't, then I have to kill myself and respawn, which is equally less than ideal. Take everything off here. Bring off the suit here. Uh, 
Um, okay, that just happened. The suit disappeared. Interesting outcome of events. If I remember correctly, it's this one that I'm actually on. Yep. It's only two active people. <coughs> okay. Remove the suit. Thank you. Place that. And let's go see if... Close this door. Oh, shoot. You know what? What's my air quality at here? Oh, jeez. We've been running the filter. Power that up. Thank you. Would like to not die from bad air. Whew. That could have been horrible. Alright, so let's check the scan data now and see if we can. Yep, now we can find our home station. So it was just a, a, a logging glitch, which is fine. But we need to we need to touch back to our home station here for a resupply. And I was I was worried that we were gonna freaking find out that it had been like stolen by somebody, because I mean it's small enough right now that somebody could just lock onto it and be like mine now and drive off with it, uh, which would be absolutely terrible. But. We'll do what we can here for the moment. We're in warp for another 30 seconds. What is the condition? Oh, I can't check the warp cell condition yet. So next goals are we've got enough fuel to tool around for a while. So that's that's the good news. We need to make repairs on the ship because it's uh, at 90%. So Clearly we've taken a fair amount of damage from that stop in the abuse zone. So let's, uh, okay, home station, warp two, we're down to 12%. Okay, and we'll barely have anything left, that fuel cell will be pretty much dead at the end of that. So. We're going to go ahead and All right, so this is going to be another few minutes of warp. And in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and get ourselves back in our gear and ready to start re reevaluating our situation. So we'll go ahead and put our suit back on, put our backpack on and our helmet. So that gives us a pretty good set for that. That's going to be the end of that fuel cell, which granted that one got us pretty far, but I think that was like a hundred percent fuel cell to start with. Uh, Cause I think they do start you with like a 100% fuel cell. So we have probably run that one down pretty quickly. Let's see here. One, two, three, four. About six jumps is what we got out of that. And one of those I accidentally did at warp two, which drained more fuel than was necessary. So, not my best, but still a good learning position for us. We need to get back to our station and chill out. Let's do a quick scan here and see if the Mariposa is somewhere nearby. Uh, because as we've seen, they are, whoever is the captain and or crew of that particular ship, they are relentless. That was three times that they, or twice that they warped in on me. Although they didn't, they didn't look like they were trying to engage on the uh, the second one. They were probably using that one that as a uh, a target warp point. 
which I don't know why you would target that station since it's right inside the uh, it's like permanently inside the debris zone that's like the worst place to possibly warp to uh, but we definitely we've, we've definitely had our fill of getting close encounters with uh, another hostile raider sort of faction they are definitely not as friendly as I would like. Uh, generally, I, I take a live and let live kind of attitude, but I think now the Mariposa has made it clear that she's not going to give me that same opportunity. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do something about it. Uh, I do know that our next goals are going to be. Command module, fabrication module, cargo bay module. In that order. Uh, and if we can pick up some solar panel modules along the way, so much the better. But the, uh, the, the, the actual goal now is the command module and the, uh, the fabrication module so that we can start uh, fabricating the materials that we need such as uh, a, a better fuel supply because these these fuel cells that we're getting they're workable for the moment but long term they don't have any longevity we need to have a better supply of materials and it's just not going to come from continually raiding that uh, that base we need to be able to create uh, a long-term supply of fuel cells and that means eventually getting ourselves something better because like three hundred <coughs> percent fuel cells will do better for us than any other component so we can go and chase down for instance uh, We can go and chase down the various uh, components that we need to build, like better uh, singularity cell detonators and uh, basically getting ourselves access to greater range and capability. And if at all possible, we may. Oh, wow, we landed only two kilometers off target. That's not terrible. I've had worse. in but meeting up with the Mariposa that's uh that gives me a pretty good idea of what it's going to be like once they add armed ships where that, that kind of encounter is not going to be uh, simply let's see who can dodge each other the most kind of deal. It's going to be a serious uh, gunfight, maybe. go. I have so much trouble with how maneuverable this little ship is because I'm so used to the, the mule <coughs> which is just a complete uh, a complete tank of a, of a vehicle. It just moves very slowly and methodically and this thing just skips around like a like a ballerina. Okay, let's go into docking mode. Should be focused <coughs> on the primary anchor. And let's slow that down.
Okay, roll it around. Oh, I keep forgetting that the pivot point is not the center of that. Oi. Roll the other way. Oh. Almost a text button landing. I am getting better at controlling this ship. Uh, and again, the you get a feel for these things as you play with them. But again, less is more. Understanding that you know you're you're working with Newtonian physics, so you're going to be engaging in maneuvers that require you to make bursts in particular directions, and it's not like like fantasy movies make it seem where it's just like oh I just jam the engines on and everything's good. You know you've you've actually got to plan your stuff out here. All right, let's uh, get another one of these tier two catalysts. And we'll take both of these guys and that and that and that. Oh, that one's empty, so we don't need that one. Those three are all empty. All right. I'd say all in all, a successful run. Go ahead and depressurize. And now it's time to try and sort of refill our station a little bit, resupply all of our various packs, and then go back out. So uh, in the next video, we're gonna uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do a lot of this off camera just because uh, it's it's boring doing just the base, basic maintenance because we're just doing upkeep right now. We're we're coming out of our ship. We're going to go ahead and swap out this for the better one here so that we get more from our solar panels. Okay, so tier two in there. Oh, dang it. Uh, no! Put that back on. Dumbass. That's your helmet. What is wrong with you? Oh, we've got damage to deal with. So we need to we need to do a quick damage patrol around the, the ship uh, and the station. So let's move that there. So we've got damage on the upper deck here. Okay. Now we've got about 10% damage on the ship itself. So we've got to find out where that's at. I think it was on the top here, wasn't it? Big stinking hole right on the top of my ship. Yep. Oh, God, that's that's terrible to look at. I'm gonna grab the sh grab the bloody ship, you stinking moron. Stabilizing. Ah, repair, dang it. Okay, gosh, I'm bouncing around like crazy. It's making my brain hurt. Alright, quick run around the station, look for any damage. Uh, now, since we're not going into the debris storms anymore, the amount of damage that we suffer is very minor and mild, just because it's it's all it all comes down to basic like wear and tear damage now, rather than like a concerted, constant abuse that we were getting. All right, so that looks good. We're probably going to need to do a mining run once we've got a proper station going here. But all of that is going to be for the next video. Let's go ahead and put that away.
And for those of you who don't know, the top and bottom position on that wheel, they're marked with a one and two. <coughs> those are quick slots for your inventory. So you can hit one or two and either put the item in hand in that space or pull whatever's in that space out of it. So, uh, and commonly, like things like weapons, tools like the drill and the torch all can go in there. But in a lot of cases, like guns and the, the drill can only go in those spaces. So there's, a, there's certain limits. All right, pressurizing. Yay, wow, that, that pressurizes fast. Let's go ahead and uh, let's, whoop, let's check for interior damage. There's almost always some damage over here. Nope, okay. Oi. Push the button, doctor. Okay, 99%. So there's probably something glitchy around here, but I don't know where it is right now. 100% on the main systems, which is good. All right, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and do my my walkthrough real quick to make sure that all of the station's components are in good working order. And we will meet back once I have verified everything and put away all of the spare parts and whatnot. And we will see you after that.